नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल आर व्यूवर्स एंड लर्नर्स इन दिस लाइव फॉर इन सेशन ऑफ सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल फ्रॉम चैनल नंबर सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व एंड ऑन आर एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल एज वेल डियर लर्नर दिस इज आर स्पेशल सेशन ऑफ सहयोग वे वी टॉक अबाउट मेंटल वेलबींग ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड व्यूवर्स एंड वी ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड दम साइको सोशल सपोर्ट एज वेल एंड इन दिस स्पेसिफिक सेशन ऑफ सहयोग वी हैव आर टॉपिक फॉर दिस सेशन इज द रोल ऑफ फैमिली इन प्रोमोटिंग मेंटल वेलनेस एंड वी ऑल नो फैमिली इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड प्लेज अ वेरी वाइटल रोल इन आर लाइफ सो दैट दैट्स वाई वी हैव दिस टॉपिक फॉर दिस सेशन एंड वी हैव आर एक्सपर्ट विद अस लेट्स मीट दैम यू आर डॉक्टर बसंत सिंह खारलुखी यू आर फैकल्टी फ्रॉम एन ई आर आई ई एन सी आर टी शिलोंग वेरी वॉम वेलकम आम and we have our practicing counselor with us as well you are ms mishtu dev very warm welcome ma'am thank you ma'am and before we begin our this session let me give some certain information to all our viewers and learners so that they can participate in this live phone in session dear learners and viewers you can participate in this session through various medium you can call us you can email us even you can drop a comment as well you can call us on our telephone number that is 8800440559 either you can drop a mail at our email address that is sahyog.ncert@ciit.nic.in and in case you have joined us through our live streaming that means you are on our ncert official youtube channel go to the live chat box and drop your comment out there our experts will be happy to answer all your queries and doubts and let's begin this session with dr basanti with you and my first question to you is ma'am what is mental wellness please explain okay thank you ms uh, renu and a very good evening to all the viewers so who are you know uh, who watching this session today and of course to my co panelists ms uh, mish today uh, good evening to you yes uh, today we're going to talk about mental wellness and how as family members we need to promote that in the uh, in our uh, in a child or in our children so here when we talk about mental wellness mental wellness actually it comes from feeling uh, from feeling balanced connected to what we are doing and to other people around us and mental wellness actually when we have a positive mental wellness we are ready to meet life challenges because in our everyday today activities we come across many challenges which uh, which increase our you know stress and how we handle that how we cope with it how we act how we think how we feel with all these various situations that we come across in life so mental wellness actually it helps to regulate how we handle stress hmm. how we relate to others and how do we, how do we make informed uh, choices right and it of course it also includes a person ability to enjoy life to attain a balance between life activities and efforts to achieve the psychological resilience hmm. so mental well being actually it is an integral part of our overall health hmm. in general you can say it is how we strive in various areas of life such as in relationships at school at work play and many more despite the ups and downs that we come across so it is that knowledge that we can separate from our problems and the belief that we can handle those problems so mental me- uh, wellness means you are able to adequately cope with the stresses life hmm. throws at you and it is how we respond to all these all right so uh, the uh, like uh, you know people who develop and experience well being also have that grit It's like what angela duckwood the famous psychological researcher said we call that grit grit is comprised of passion of perseverance and means of how to overcome it's never that give up attitude you know like in most uh, st- children we have and most of the adolescents that attitude which they just simply give up but when we have that grit that passion so here grit doesn't mean never failing for of course failure is part of success and life itself but it means how we get up when we fall so mm-hmm. mental well being actually it helps 
individual or it helps a child to, you know, overcome all these. So mental health and well-being, you can say, are the traits and skills that we, we continuously or we continually develop and hone as we continue to live. And uh, yes, last, mental wellness, actually, it goes hand in hand with physical health. When you eat well, you get enough sleep, you stay active, your mental health can improve. And following, of course, healthy routines, which is very essential nowadays, can improve your self-esteem. It will help mental functions. It will make it easier for you to deal with stress. Mm -hmm. And of course, in turn, feeling mentally well can boost actually your motivation to stick with healthy habits. And here we're going to talk like how friends, how family play an important role in our mental wellness because maintaining supportive caring relationship definitely will lower the stress and reduces your risk of developing a mental health yes thank you renu very well said uh, ma'am and uh, mishtu ma'am we want to know that what uh, why do you think it's important to promote mental wellness in ch among children ma'am why yes, is it so important thank you for asking me the question ma'am hmm. First, I would like to say that good mental health contributes to strong relationship and better health at home, school, or in the society. It actually has a significant effect on a child's life and the family as well. So uh, physically and mentally, if the child is healthy, then in the uh, future, the child will be a uh, a good human being and he will be helpful for others so um, uh, physical and mental health should be taken with all seriousness actually uh, nowadays we can see uh, the children are only um, involved in studies and not in mm. other things but parents are not taking care of them um, most of the time they are not getting time to give uh, get involved with them so uh, they should take it as a se uh, serious note that physical and mental health both are very much important for a child and it can affect how people feel think act and relate with other people with other incidents so uh, mental health has a lot of benefits for a child and also for the family and uh, one can live happily if the child if the person is mentally healthy and he can learn something new i mean new skills and be creative in his or her later life. So we also can say like mental health includes our emotional, psychological and uh, social well-being. And it affects how we think, feel and act. It also helps to determine um, how we handle stress uh, related to maybe it's related with our life and maybe it's related with other person who are around us, like our family members, our friends, um, family members, relatives, or uh, um, regarding maybe our teacher is feeling stressed. If the child is able to understand those kind of emotional states or social conditions, then he or, or she may able to deal with the problems uh, by himself or herself in, in his or her little life. So mental health is important at every stage of life. Uh, like from childhood towards the teenage, then uh, adolescence period, and also with the adulthood or throughout the life. It is very important. So uh, if a child from his or her uh, childhood, uh, if uh, uh, he or she is able to control his mind, his emotional states, then he will be able to connect with other children, with other people very easily in his future. And child will become physically active and child learns new skills and he learns to share things with his friends and with other family members. He starts to pay attention to the other people or he will be empathetic. Uh, he will um, think about his work with mindfulness. He will be doing all his um, daily works uh, in an attentive way. Um, he can learn new skills. I mean, this is very important. He can learn to care about his friends and show some kind of interest in their 
um, uh, activities or he will be conscious about his own activities what kind of work he or she is doing uh, is it good for him is it bad so he can identify or he can differentiate about the good and bad thing and he can recognize his um, strength and his weakness he can work on his weaknesses how to overcome all these things he can work um, uh, on his uh, strengths how you can utilize his strengths in uh, studies in other activities so it is very much important the child can learn uh, to listen also to other people and he can follow the directions uh, i mean the instructions whatever he is getting at home from his parents and also uh, the instructions or the direction whatever he is getting from the school from the teachers he will be able to focus on it uh, he can give 100% attention uh, in his studies and other activities so um, overall we can say it is very much important um, for a child uh, or for the family members to pay attention and mental wellness ma'am thank you right and if you talk about the holistic development and overall uh, development then mental health should be the priority of any any person and any teacher and guidance uh, let's uh, move towards dr basanti ma'am and my next question to you is what are the signs associated with mental health problem that family need to be address concern about ma'am what are those Yes, hmm. actually, it is very important for family members, for elders, to you know, to understand or to observe certain signs which are associated with mental issues or mental health, mental wellness of of of, the, of their child or of their children. And some of these which we will mention are something which are quite you know, like easily you can observe as parents, as elders. So you can see, like in the change in behaviors, okay. And sometimes a child or a child he wants to be left alone, and this will uh, like it wanting to be alone often, and then showing less interest in activities or in the whatever work in school or drawing himself from sports. games or any other activities that they that they you know that they normally enjoy and sometimes overreacting or sudden burst of angers or tears over small small incidents and then those who are a little talkative maybe seeming quieter than usual and less energetic and of course which which i see often nowadays trouble in sleeping some they sleep they oversleep or some they sleep hmm. less and then spending a lot of time in daydreaming falling mm. back to a less you can say very less mature behavior trouble in getting along with friends yelling or having a fight with family members and friends and of course pulling away or doing nothing with whatever with the usual activities that they used to do and then of course we also see that change in their thinking change in their thinking like say for example they have trouble in concentrating and then saying negative things maybe about themselves or blaming themselves for thinking be uh, for things beyond their control change in school performances and then also the inability to perform daily tasks and then these frequent negative thoughts which keep coming so i think as family parents or members or elders we have to you know be very observant we have to keenly observe these things like changes in feelings reaction or feelings that seem bigger than the situation and a, ch a child or a, a children they seem very unhappy worried or guilty and then fearful irritated irritable sad or angry and at times children or child is always feeling helpless hopeless lonely or he feel rejected even though you know in the family there may be some a festive they in the festive mood but a child always try to be alone isolate himself so these are also something which we need to you know like uh, to look and to be concerned so that you know we can provide necessary assistance or help or you can say timely help 
so that you know it will not go beyond and then some of the physical changes also we may also observe like having headache not wanting to go to school and then complaining of stomach ache or complaining of any pains which mm. are not unexplainable you can say the lack of energy or feeling tired all the time and there are also certain habits nervous ha habits you can say like biting of nails hair twisting and all the unusual thing like thumb sucking they are not in they are not uh, physically you can see physically they are present around the family members but mentally they are far away so these are the things you know that we need to uh, understand we need to observe and then you know give a, a time we should not ignore these kind of things we may say that okay just leave the child alone he will you know he will be okay maybe tomorrow but mm. then we need to be observant and try to understand these you know these signs or symptoms yes thank you uh, rightly said and before we move uh, further let me uh, tell all our viewers that please ask relevant question related to our topic and uh, uh, our expert will be happy to answer all your queries only related to our topic that is the role of family in promoting mental wellness and moving uh, towards mishtu ma'am now please uh, tell our learners and viewers that what are the benefit of good relationship uh, among family members ma'am why it is so important yes ma'am there are ben very uh, much ben these are very much beneficial actually to be with the family members or the attention of family members uh, uh we can say uh, that god has planned for each and every person of this world he has planned something so through the family members or through the parents uh, we got to know new new things and uh, through them uh, we get god's gift jaise hum bachcho ko samjhate hain classes mein so who gives you the god's gift i mean uh, mm. if you, uh, you are having your birthday Uh, you wish for something who give you all these gifts uh, the children are like mama papa so Gee. through the parents we can get all the god's gifts so they are the central ways uh, to fulfill our uh, wishes so if the family members are spending a lot of time with the children i mean a, a small hug and talking to the, uh, the children uh, after the school after the college or after the work if you uh, sit along with your children giving uh, uh, spending the quality time with the children if you are eating together so it helps a lot uh, the children can reduce their pain their stress their trauma sometimes it helps a lot to the children if the parents are spending time they will be able to express their uh, feelings i mean it may be the sad it may be uh, some kind of guilt it may be happiness they will be able to express whatever there in their mind and they can get a relaxed mind and they can sit for a study uh, later on so it helps a lot it is very much beneficial actually so uh, uh, families is that place where a child feel secure because the child is getting mm. love mm. Uh, from that is and positive um, you know positive relationship positive thinking they are getting uh, they are getting all this thing from their parents uh, they can resolve conflict work as a team they learn to work as a team they can enjoy each and every moment they can enjoy each other company so positive family relationship are built on quality time actually um i would like to request the viewers who are listening please spend your uh, time a lot of time with your children at home this is very important if you make a routine like to eat every day together mm. maybe one time in a day uh, in the night or in the morning but it you should spend mm. with uh, time with your children or with your family members then uh, like one to one talking face to face more mm. then get involved in some kind of family occasions maybe um some kind of family occasions are going on or maybe some kind of decision making or planning mm. maybe it's a tour you are planning to go somewhere for summer vacation or winter vacation but you should plan together you should sit together whatever things you should take along mm. with you it helps a lot uh, to express the feelings of the children and um, here let me tell you that we have only 
Ma'am, here let me tell you that we have only four more minutes left for the session, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. So uh, this is uh, okay. So so share a daily ex uh, expressions of love and support. So it is very much beneficial to spend a lot of time with the family members, ma'am. Hmm. Thank you. So dear parents and guardians, you just need to sit with your uh, children and ask them about their day, how was it and very small, small details that will definitely create magic around you. Ma'am, and my question to you is what are the roles that family member can do to promote good mental health in children, ma'am? Please All let right. us know in brief, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Actually, what uh, Ms. Tu has already is, has said that the first thing about how to you know promote mental wellness is building a strong relationship in the family this is one of the th uh, most you know like uh, the first thing that a family can do to promote mental wellness in their children and to create actually a safe environment for the children so that you know children can feel safe to to speak to share whatever the feelings are and of course, we need, as a family member, we need to help the children to develop their self-esteem. This is very important. Children should learn to feel good about themselves. Children should learn to feel that, yes, they are, you know, like unique. And they, they so in this way, parents should always try to show love and respect, praise them when they do well, and then of course, recognize the simple efforts that they put. This is very important. Help the children also to recognize and to celebrate their strength. This is also another thing. And it is, uh, you know, like it is common, you can say, oh, it is okay for children to feel sad, to feel angry, to feel frustrated. It is the role, you can say, of the parent or family members to encourage the children to, you know, to talk about it to talk about their feelings and then we need to provide them with a safe place a safe place where children talk about things about their day-to-day -day activities and as you can see family members elders you can see or parents we should always be you know like uh, sensitive in talking about um, problems or issues of, of families which are not related you can see with children like say about marital problems financial problem at home or the economic problem at home and then other issues which you know sometimes children they are sensitive and they do worries about these things so i think as family members elders and parents we have to be concerned about these kind of things we need to keep in mind about the well-being of the children and of course we always when children do have problems or difficulties we have to guide them how to take decision, what are the things that they can do, but not to take over and not to decide for them or to tell them what to do and what not to do. Guide them, show them the way so that they themselves, you know, they can take a decision hmm. and they can feel proud about it. Yes. Right, rightly, very rightly Hi. said, Val. Uh, but we are running very short of time. We cannot carry forward this session. So thank you so very much, Dr. Basensi and Mishtu, ma'am, for being with us and for your insightful uh, information. Thank you so very much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, dear learners and viewers, time for me to wrap up this session. But you stay tuned to PM Avidya channels and NCRT official YouTube channel for more informative programs. Me, Renu Bhatt, along with my whole team is taking your leave. Namaskar.